No, we shouldn't. I think we should agree to the meeting. Oh? Well, you see, we are the ones that owe an explanation. If we keep putting off the meeting, it could easily result in the problem escalating, right? It's like... like a fight between two friends. If they don't agree to see each other and talk in person, isn't it possible that the friendship could end entirely? Hmm... I don't think we should overthink those possibilities yet. <clears throat> Even if the logic of the Divine is not immediately apparent, its wisdom will only be revealed with time. Besides, you'll be at the meeting. If any problems do pop up, you'll have no problem navigating them. <laughs> you mean you won't come? No, 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 that, that won't do. I can't go to the meeting alone. You have to accompany me. I must take you with me. No, not at all. Look, I am the Hydro Archon of Fontaine, Fosalor, the god of justice who is loved and adored by many. So I only hope that justice will be served in this matter. Don't overthink it. I'll go find someone to arrange the meeting. <sighs> hmm. Lady Farina? Yes, that's right. Just like you said, a tea party. <laughs> I should thank you for providing the pastries. They look delectable. To make this tea party even more lively, I've invited someone else to join us today. Uh, um, about that. Of course, of course! How could they not attend a meeting such as this? I must always have two or more guests at my dessert table. Otherwise, the occasion would be too lonely and unbecoming of my station. Uh, since we are talking about him, I feel like I should add something. His martial prowess really looked... certainly pretty impressive, yeah. You're wrong. I've never ignored the prophecy, nor have I just been passing the time in self-indulgence. Retract your accusation and stop doubting the wisdom of the gods with such absurd conjectures! I have my ways, and I've been working on them for all this time. Even if you look down upon me, you have no right to judge me! Fontaine will be saved. Even... even if I still cannot see the true future right now, as long as I continue on as I am, I will be able to hold my head up high! <sighs> I... My machinations are just like the prophecy itself. They will only reveal themselves at the fated time. It is just that beings like yourselves are unable to perceive them as of yet. Uh, an emergency response plan? The, the emergency response plan is also strictly confidential. The oratrice? It, it's just like it appears to be. Ah, uh, yeah, yes, that's exactly right. Please keep it a secret for me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> if it's on my tea table, it must be of the highest quality. Uh, yes, and we must thank the knave for bringing these over as well. <sighs> the tea party turned out to be even more difficult than I'd imagined. Uh, uh. Ahem! <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Is something the matter? If there's nothing urgent, then I shall be retiring for now. 
Oh? Come over here, you little critter, you! You dare to run from me? Stop right this instant! <gasps> Who are you? And, and what are you trying to do? Please, don't kill me! I'm begging you, please! After returning to her quarters, Farina quietly cried alone. She was so scared that she could not sleep that night, nor could she even bring herself to eat her cake. <laughs>